Oh, wait, I remember you telling me that your password is have you can, super simple, but there's a twist that I would never guess. So is that, <laughs> are those your passwords? It's like this very limited set of keys, but in some you can't enter, You pattern. can't hack into his computer right. unless you have an external keyboard. So I'm going to show you exactly what the password is. I mean, uh, your hands are blocking all the keys. I can't see anything. I just watched wait, it. Wait, that was it not right good. There. No. Oh, I was about to say, because I thought, like, the loading screen was you, like, I mean, password hey, accepted. Yeah. <laughs> it's password accepted. Okay. I just throw my fingers around and see where they land. This is great for an audio podcast talking about a person type. Can't Did you, see the fingers around. Do you already start recording? Yes, the recording has been going. <laughs> no matter how much planning goes into it, we always botch the start. <laughs> well, that's the thing about the start is you never know what to say. So I, a lot of times we'll just wait until we're in the middle of something. Just like, uh, now's a good ah. time as any. Click begin. Yeah. Ready right, player right. one, start. Uh, so today on a couple of fellows, we have a special guest appearance from <laughs> Hamza. There it is, Hamza. He was My behind friend. the mic. We'll see how well that. Came <laughs> yeah, I, I hope it comes through good. We du- can always edit in directional post. mic. Remember, Hamza, what are you looking for? My phone. Oh, phone. Nice. Because <laughs> it's got all my like flight information. Sit down and cast with us, Pod. Uh, yeah, homie. <laughs> so Hamza, how's your weekend been? It just fucking started. Why are you asking me that? I didn't do shit yet. So actually, all right. So I'm going to start off with no secrets. Kind of a, kind of a weeb. Ah, can't speak either. You got this. You got this. I'm kind of a weeb. So Stuck the landing. <laughs> my, uh, my friends from Florida, who I'm going to visit in March, they have a friend named T. Jaden or T. Aiden, who hasn't played Doki Doki Literature Club yet. Oh, man. And Oh, Zane, you've never seen this either, right? I remember telling you about it. 2017 game of the year? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. So, <clears throat> basically, we all took a different, like, a waifu girl yeah. to voice over. And- oh, so Zane, just for reference, yeah. uh, in this game, you you play like this one dude who joins this after school literature club, and the only other people in it are what four girls? Four girls. Yeah, yeah, four girls, and it's like a dating sim. So you're trying to like romance them and pick like your favorite ones and like steer it in that direction. But without getting into spoilers, yeah. In well, the title screen literally says this game is not suitable for children, and there's a reason why without going into it. Yeah. But like, you get to have sex with them. <laughs> All four at the same time. <laughs> Only if you win. That's unlike <laughs> yeah. repeat laps through the game. You the can collect all ending. four. <laughs> collect them all. Secret ending. <laughs> you have to get all the collectibles. But anyway, okay. So you're saying. Oh, no. So basically, um, if for anyone who does know the game, I played as... I voiced Monica, <gasps> and I tried to do a Valley Girl accent, but it got really tiring because my mom came downstairs, oh. so I had to change it up a bit. <laughs> Not what do to, you like, mean? So I was basically moaning into the mic like, okay, girls, it's time to write poetry. But like... Oh, were you guys on like Discord or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm bad with context. No, so, okay. <laughs> so let's see. We um we fucking... Uh, we all went on Discord and we all... The, the T. Jaden kid was on um like... He was streaming the... Uh, the game, right? This yeah, round yeah. table round. voiceover play. Oh, game. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you were doing a let's play with your friends. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Got it. All right. Context nailed down. All right. Perfect. I'm so, with you. <laughs> so you're doing the Valley Girl accent. So I'm doing that. But then my friend Ethug, or Ethan, he, um, <laughs> for sure. Let's see. For sure. <laughs> so he, um, he's playing Natsuki, who's like okay. a short, pink haired, like, lolly chick. Yeah. She's the, yeah. She's like the real, like, fiery one. The, so in order to embody. She's real sassy. <laughs> In order to really embody the fiery spirit, his voice was like a imagine like a goblin from Goblin Slayer, like, hey, I'm talking here. So oh, okay, real gross, real sexy kinda. type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> so this became a problem because his voice was getting very hoarse. Oh yeah, that's tiring. So we it's both a long game. <laughs> such a long game. So much poetry. Dude. Yeah, seriously. Um. So basically, by the end of like three minutes, we were both really tired of doing these voices. Three minutes doesn't sound like a significant proportion of the game. <laughs> no, <laughs> Not no. quite. <laughs> so we both disconnected from the call because, and we called. I called him. And I'm like, "Hey, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> we got I haven't trained for this. <laughs> so what we did is we installed a um a voice mod, right? Mm-hmm. And I got like. And it made it so much easier. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've seen people use those on YouTube. Yeah. So my weekend consisted of playing Doki Doki with a voice mod, and it was just a lot of fun. We stayed up all night, and... How far did you get? 
Dude, this motherfucker, T. Jaden, calling you out because I know you're gonna watch this. He, um, <laughs> He's a huge fan. Huge fan. Of he the emails show. the show every week. Wait, Hell yeah. Four subscribers now. Five. <laughs> Five, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so. He's going to watch this and think, but this game was boring. No, you're not patient, motherfucker. Yeah, you got to wait. It so, starts off real slow for a while. It's like Steins Gate. Have you ever seen Steins I haven't seen Steins Gate. I don't know what that it's is. It's on my list. It's an anime. Are you, a, seen it. are you a nerd or are you not a nerd? I'm a nerd light. I work been, with all engineers and I have friends like Steve. No, so Zane has been mainlining anime these past like few weeks. Like, How fast did you watch the first three seasons of My Hero? Holy shit. I don't know. Like... 10, 12 days, maybe. But like work days too. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like the 10 days previous to today. Yeah, yeah. I think I finished season three like yesterday or the day before. Oh, okay, yeah. In the last like three or four weeks, I finished like three seasons of Black Clover, three seasons of My Hero, two seasons of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> yeah. JoJo. So he's catching up for sure. Like he's, he. Not, yeah. me- not much of like the low key stuff, but it's all in recommendations from you guys. So yeah, it's very yeah. curated. I'm Have getting watched- a lot of the good stuff that you're supposed Hell to know. Yeah. Have you watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? A lot of it, but okay. not all of it. No. Okay. Like maybe two fifths of that as well. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, definitely worth definitely worth your time if you're looking for nothing. Because it's not too long either. It's like 50, 60 episodes. Yeah, it's a the good whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, then I'm like 30 or 40 episodes in. Okay. <laughs> Stop right before the climax. I like your shirt, by the way. It's got Arabic on it. Thank oh, you. yeah, tell him about yeah, it. Yeah, my uh, younger brother joined the Marines and went through boot camp this summer, and apparently he nailed it. Oh, that's all. Chinese. <laughs> it's a bunch of stuff. Wait, it's a lot of things. Yep. I'm telling you why. <laughs> Are these all the, like, countries that we've conquered pretty much? <laughs> conquered? No, but... We finally conquered I'm telling China. You. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. It's uh, Long live Hong Kong. No, know. so my brother apparently... <laughs> <laughs> Message of support. We're getting demonetized. Oh boy. <laughs> he scored really well in the language learning aptitude test, so he got into the intelligence division of the Marines, which My is an man. oxymoron if you know him. But <laughs> now he's in Monterey, California for the next 13 months, becoming completely fluent in Russian. But this is the school where they teach all of the Marines and other departments of the military all of the languages that are relevant. This is where you go oh. to learn. Russian, Pakistani, or Lu. I actually yes. am from Pakistan. Urdu. Saeed t- oh, taught yeah. me that, and I Saeed. lost it. <laughs> Got it freshman year. <laughs> but yeah, so these are all of the languages that they teach at this school. Wait, can I read this? Yeah. Sorry for being so touchy. Go nuts. Hub, daughter, fucking, I don't know what. Yeah. You I sure can, you know this language? I, I can't read There's, it, but I can speak it. There are also a lot of little okay. twists on dialects and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's the name of each language in that language. Oh, nice. Russian, Chinese, Hindu, Arabic, I think Urdu. Yeah, that could be Hindu. But a bunch. And it's a cool shirt that I got for Christmas from him. So you said Monterey, California, but that's a fucking cheese that I like. <laughs> like Monterey Jack? Yeah, so yeah. what's the deal? Keep your story straight. I think it's just cooked. spelled with like a T, like an E-T-A instead oh, of Mont-Tafé. a Y. Yeah, <laughs> okay, exactly. exactly. The French spelling. That's the difference. Otherwise, it would be cheese, yes. Oh. <laughs> About the other day with... Yeah. She watches fucking anime. So real quick. Wow. I think when we talk about people, we, we're probably going to cut this right here. <laughs> If you want to pick if, any if first name, like, comes suit, to like yeah, like a fake name, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't want to like talk about people. We like, dox our friends, but know, we like, don't dox people who wouldn't necessarily consent to being on this podcast by name. Yeah, yeah. Got Especially it. Okay. depending on the context of it. Got yeah, it. exactly. So Got we'll it. bleep that out. Maybe we'll include this tutorial so that any future guests. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I am the uh, first error. You're you know, player. you're the first guest. But anyway, so what, what should your name be? Jolene. <laughs> Jolene. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. That yeah. seems like a twist on Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna come right out and say it. Uh, what was wrong with mine? <laughs> seems like it would have done fine. Or should we do? Should we do a name that's like not a real name, just R. but something that describes yeah. R. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares if you that's talk so R. Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> but if she heard it, she would hate it more than if we just said her name. I think. <laughs> Because the details... This is to protect you, whoever you are. The thing is, the details of this is so specific. Like, the story about the Rocher. The Ferrero Rochers. <laughs> the Ferrero Rochers. Okay. Like, that's You're a, making this real hard to edit cleanly. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Pick a name. Should we just call it Ferrero? 
Ferrero, yeah. Okay, Ferrero. It's a mouthful, but it'll work. Ferrero. So anyway, you're talking about Ferrero because she came over the other day. Yeah, and I'm like, I've never met a girl so into anime before. Dude, yeah, she was a total homie. She knew like John Tron and shit on YouTube yeah, too. Yeah, what the fuck? And she was calling me out on my bullshit. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like what? 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 What type of bullshit? What were you getting called out on? So I was like, I think I wore like a shirt to lunch. It was a JoJo shirt. And she called me a fucking weeb, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Nobody challenges me enough. You wore a JoJo shirt to work, to lunch? Yeah. You you were sitting like this, so you couldn't see it, but it was like, I had my denim jacket on. Oh, that's so right. So she could see it, and she was like, you're such a fucking weeb. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. You're not wrong. <laughs> someone to finally put me in my place. Please humiliate me. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a power lifter. She, she did power I feel like those gone. go hand in hand. This is like an right. engineering, power lifting, anime type of circle. I've met a couple of girls that fit that trifecta. That's Holy so, shit. Yeah. I know at least two or three from Yukon. It's very And I think specific. Ferrero might fit into the same category. <laughs> Thank you for remembering her name. Because <laughs> I probably would have forgotten it already. <laughs> we got to like write it down on a whiteboard. Like, this translates to... <laughs> this will be a problem for future Zayn or Steve to edit. <laughs> uh, talking about... Uh, ooh, that's a good transition. Like talking This is about, yours to edit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Fine. Like future problems. I think I was reading something about Jordan Peterson. Oh, oh like, big fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Dude, we gotta get him on the podcast. That's <laughs> you know what I'm Dude, he did H three H three. He'll do us. Well, we have vapes. That's yep. true, dude. Did you? I loved it when he ripped Ethan's vape. Have you ever seen the H three H three vape? It is this tall off the floor. <laughs> Elon Musk ripped a vape. I mean, <laughs> no, no, Jordan Peterson. And it's sorry, I get them crossed up. They do crazy shit all the time. <laughs> and it's this wide, like it is this giant box with like metal handles on the <laughs> side. Can we show you a this, the, the, the like, Pull that part out, Jamie. you put in your mouth Jamie. is like the width of that. <laughs> and Jordan Peterson comes on, rips a fat cloud, and he does it with like the slightest of ease. Like just in, giant cloud out, smile, no cough, nothing. Oh, it's literally the picture. Yeah, that's that's it. It uses so, like a Oh my lord. It uses 150 <laughs> batteries. Yeah, it's kind of wild. Is this a I mean, THC vape? <laughs> It, he claims on the podcast it's water vapors, but let's Jordan gets it. stoned. No, yeah, so no that's way. how big it is compared to a person. Dude, that's ludicrous, but it's, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but it anyway. looks like he's carrying a microwave in front of him with a smaller microwave on top, <laughs> out of which is coming a garden hose that you suck vapor from. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you were saying uh, about future problems, then we talked about vapes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like one of the things I've been. Uh, Especially this fucking week at work is like... I'm worried about the future. No, no. So, like, sacrificing today for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. To the Dark Lord. Uh, Pretty much. So, what brought this on at work? No, so so I'm usually, like, a pretty calm, zen kind of guy. Yeah. This past two weeks, I've been, like, angsty Mm. and... On edge. Yeah. Okay. Just completely, like, like, fuck everyone. I hate people. Really? And I'm, like, not this person. Especially slump. Dude, especially slump, though. I see this motherfucker <laughs> literally every day shooting rubber bands at me. Dude, yeah, we have this one giant rubber band that we just shoot at each other, like, randomly. That's pretty the good, but did I tell you that I bought 75 sticky, stretchy hands to bring to work? <laughs> and now my co-worker squad of 12 of us use them to get each other's attention? It's turned into Mad Max. Um, I have a solo cup stuffed full of them in my desk for people to take refills <laughs> when they get dirty. $8 on real. Amazon. Go for it. Dude, that's beautiful. <sighs> That's a lot. I don't think our workplace would appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, I did. Well, I shot a rubber band in front of our super. I mean, our fuck. Our supervisor. In front of our supervisor. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say um, again. <laughs> <laughs> Use someone else's name as the dumb. Just switch them to two people that we talk about. So when <laughs> came over, she really liked the anime. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It's another edit. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just cutting both of you out of this podcast. It's just gonna be you reacting gonna be the whole time. Yeah, it's just gonna be me talking to me. It's gonna be great. Have and you seen the supercuts of Jordan Peterson debating himself? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or that's Ro- great. <laughs> or Ro Jogan versus Joe Rogan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't uh, seen that either. It's the same shit. Basically. Yeah, it is. 
All the Jordan Peterson ones are on Joe Rogan's podcast, too. Yeah. All those videos of him debating himself. It's when you get the most content. Peter Jordanson, that's what it is. Peter Jordan. Jordan Peterson versus Peter Jordanson. <laughs> <laughs> Ro Jogan and yeah. Joe Rogan. These are great. Yeah, we need Stephen Webb versus Weaven Stem. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what's your last name? I mean, Kane Zuck. Kane Zuck. Oh, Z- oh. That's not a great name, no. <laughs> or Kane Zuck. Kane Zuck. I mean, that sounds like an alien from Star Wars. And not a good one. <laughs> yeah. it sounds like one of the background <laughs> characters. That only like super nerds care about and gets a whole arc in the books. Hey, have you ever <laughs> even considered Kane Zuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> so much more laughy when you smoke. I love it. Uh, when you smoke water vapor... Right. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. I only see cigarettes. clear liquids. It's a good thing we record when we're in Canada, where it's all legal. Yeah. No, Massachusetts. <laughs> where, you, where we do. Oh, I mean, true. Where I, I live. <laughs> I think we gave away in the first episode that I live in New London and work at Electric Boat. So, like, <laughs> it's not a very big area. I gotta say. You're anyway. a doxy boy. Yeah, I'm out there. We're all pretty doxy. The police are hunting yeah. for Steve. I literally just came back from the police station. Oh yeah, what were you doing? There? <laughs> What'd you do? I mean, did, did they you- catch you? So I was wearing, so here's the. You're here, wearing a hoodie? I was, the hoodie that I'm wearing wore here, I was also wearing to the station. But what made it even worse is that my windows are tinted. So mm, when I'm in there. That's a recent development. He just got them tinted. I'll, I'll tell you the backstory that in a sec. Okay. But basically, <laughs> I pull up with my windows tinted to the police station. And then in my the back of my mind, I'm like, what if they like, after I'm done, pull me over before I leave my car? <laughs> and then, so yeah. I. I Oh, was it? Did they? No, I got out Scott Scott Free. Well, that's nice. good. They're Why too, were you at the police station? They're too busy taking my fingerprints. Oh, f- for why? <laughs> <laughs> These are not answers. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just continuing the story. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Pretty much, uh, my bro, which I also hate. Um, <laughs> Everyone this week, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just getting it all out this episode. So if they skip this episode, we're good. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah. No, that's fine. Our first guest, do not listen. <laughs> <laughs> Every single Skip this episode is going to be the name of the episode. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, um, Future Hamza. See, I'm giving you plenty of OC, original content. I love it. No, absolutely. Stream of consciousness. But you were there getting yeah, fingerprinted because you hate your bro. Because I hate my bro. He made me go. That's a rhyme. No, that was bars. Pretty much. So he wants us to go to Pakistan to visit our relatives that I also do not know. Is that Pakistan or a place with an accent, or is that made up to hide the identity of the country you're going to? I'm actually going to Israel to fight the fucking jihad. <laughs> <laughs> to fight the jihad? Oh. Dude, I'm American. Are you kidding me? I got my clearance. Absolutely. Baby. Cheers to World War Three, boys. So, so are you going to go to Pakistan? I don't want to. But you don't I, want to. <clears throat> but your boy's getting you fingerprinted and gauge. You do go and join a terrorist cell. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. You really muscled your way Coughing through that sentence. The water, the whole way. All that water vapor, man. Uh, <laughs> really getting spot. Dr. Hydro. Oh, man. Uh, nah, so... You have to get fingerprinted in case you go? So, it's like a seven-year... So, I... When I joined my company, I lost my citizen... So, I was a dual citizen. Oh. And I had to give up citizenship to, you know, work at this company. I'm like, fuck yeah, I hate that place. <laughs> so, like, I have All no... Right. Well, I came here when I was one, so I have no recollection mm-hmm. of not America mm-hmm. or specifically not Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah, so there's this thing called, like, a green card. It's like a Nadra card, which is a green card for diff- four boxes. a different boxes. shade of green? It's like a forest green. Oh, um, okay. That's instead of, like, a, instead of, like, a... T- <laughs> Like a teal? No. Just red, teal blue, is green. Blue. <laughs> Plain green. <laughs> I guess I'm autistic with colors too. <laughs> no, it's called artistic. Artistic. Oh. <laughs> nice one. We can digitally add an R in there afterwards. <laughs> Speaking of only knowing Connecticut, when I was driving into the state today, I noticed on the sign it said, still revolutionary. I'm not sure in what way they mean. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> like... I, there were a lot of not my president protests at UConn, yeah. but I don't know that it necessarily qualified as a revolution. Yeah, that, that's quite the claim. Is this a revolutionary state, do you think? Let me hear your political breakdown of the climate in Connecticut. Oh, baby. I mean, the toll roads don't seem too fun. 
<laughs> you know how we're. That's I mean, revolution. I don't know. We should take up arms against the Tolmans. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's shit. Dude, I feel like recently I've noticed, like, in the media and stuff, not like the media, like, fake news kind of stuff, but, like, just in popular media, Connecticut gets a lot of shit. I feel like I've heard that on, like, TV shows and podcasts and stuff. People Definitely podcasts. Rogan hates Connecticut. Yeah, I, I think we're why. his least favorite state. <laughs> I have no idea why. I mean, not we, you guys. I'm yeah. the mess. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Which is moderately better. Um, well, you guys can't fill dead air. <laughs> just got oh, really yeah. excited with this water. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. <laughs> Straight on it. Bottoms up. Actually, no, you left off on another midway story branch off point. Oh, you got a good memory. <laughs> yes, where were you? said we? you were saving it for the background. Talk about the green card. No, the This tense. was three green card. Going to the police. Why he got tins recently. Oh, okay. True, true. All right. So, I, back far than I so this relates back to Ferrero in a way. The actual Whoa! Ferrero. Whoa! Okay. You know what? The actual Ferrero? Like the Italian the car company? The oh. candy. <laughs> the candy. So, oh God, there's so much shit. I need to get out of my brain. Okay. Well, basically. Dump it, baby. <laughs> spit it out. There's Ferrero 2, who is actually Ferrero 1. But this is really convoluted. Are these models of candy or girls? I don't <laughs> know. Models of candy. <laughs> is this models the 2019 Ferrero or are we talking 2020? They have a little, they actually added some hazelnut to it. Now, so the OG Ferrero. Candy. He, he she, we, Wumbo. Um, no, the person. You're, you're not helping me figure it out. <laughs> I'm trying to redo the mistakes or undo the mistakes. <laughs> we'll just hear him out. We'll hear him out. We'll hear him out. Right. No so, interruptions. All right. So Ferrero. Sh- they, he, give away the gender. That'll help keep you straight. Gender is fine. Gender is fine. Okay, she. Um, um, it's half the population. The, almost. Half. It's like 49, 49 and uh, change. Oh, that's another topic. Let's get into later. Maybe let's, not. <laughs> no. Let's just try and handle this one first. <laughs> no, after. So, pretty much, Ferrero OG uh, showed me this guy named Anderson Pack, and I fucking love this guy. He's so he's like suave and he's got such a great voice and great songs. I pretty much like all the songs. Yeah, no, dude, because you drive me to work in the morning and fucking just, yeah, yeah. You're bumping. You've been bumping Anderson Pack lately, and I never really listened to him before, but yeah, he is so unique and like, he's like interesting. Funky. Yeah, he is funky. He's on the new Eminem album. He has no, a, he has a feature on it. Yeah, I gotta listen to that right now. Yeah, right now, maybe Bye, not guys. right now. <laughs> Demonetization. The Later. Are signing off. <laughs> Copyright claim. So his. One of my favorite songs is with Kendrick Lamar. Uh, it's called Tints. And the go. song is so fucking catchy that I'm like, I've been playing I it. I need to get Tints. <laughs> I've been playing it nonstop. And I realize Kendrick's right. What if the police look at me and see a bad bitch in my whip? Yeah. There's a good risk There's of always that. a risk of that. So I needed to tint my windows to prevent that bad bitch from going. From getting spotted. Out of my car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the cops You gotta contain her. the bad bitchery. Pretty much, it's got to stay within my Chevy. So, <laughs> wait, I don't know if I follow necessarily. If the What's cops up? see her, she gets out of the car. No, no, so he doesn't want the visage of his bad bitchliness to be visible from outside of the car. Big fucking brain right here. I he think gets- he got tins so the cops don't see him and profile him. Is oh. what he's saying. But hipper. So, by okay. the way, I'm. Dare I say, Aryan? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so <laughs> there's some stereotypes with us blonde hair, blue eyes, you know. You can't get yourself confused. Straighten this out now. <laughs> this Aryan who's talking about going back home to Pakistan, <laughs> where his whole hey, family this is. Aryan named Amza. Amza. A C H. That's. Jeff Dunn doesn't really hold up 2020. That's a bit on the uh, racy side. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dude, so... I Oh, God. So... I don't want to sound racist, which is always the worst way to Let's start go. a sentence. <laughs> Let's go, baby. But that show I was talking to you about, um, Rami, about, like, the Muslim yeah. dude who, like, he's, like, trying to be a good Muslim, but he's, like, in his 20s, like, you know, and he's, like, trying to, like, still be, like, a cool guy in America. And in it, cool. he goes back like to his family's country in Egypt to like see family he hasn't seen in like 10 years or whatever yeah and like to kind of like I don't know reconnect which just sounds like exactly what your brother's doing 
I don't know. The show. Yeah. I draw parallels between it and you. No, I don't mind. So the thing is, the place I work at, plus my upbringing, has made me like really tough skin. Mm-hmm. So you can say, whatever the fuck. Okay. But the problem with that is, I assume everyone else is also not a snowflake. Oh, yeah. Fair so enough. that's gotten me into a lot of trouble recently. <laughs> because a lot of people are. <laughs> indeed. I'm, indeed. F- I'm tracking. <laughs> so pretty much, I say a lot of bombastic things yeah, at work yeah, yeah. and out of work. Mm-hmm. Just the couple fellows vocab word of the day. <laughs> pretty much. So I, uh, I like to express myself in a very retarded way because <laughs> that way, if I'm always... Autistic. Something I actually say that's stupid will kind of slide under the radar. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. just being, ri- you know, just being ridiculous. Yeah, this again. is how he is. He doesn't mean nothing by it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of my strategy. But recently, it's gotten me into a lot of trouble. Although, I don't I, regret any of it. <laughs> it was totally worth it. So it kind of. So the, the thing is, it kind of filters out the people that you don't want to hang out around, anyways. That's true. That's true. I'll give so, you that. I've I've really gotten. I've really had trouble cutting people out, and this is one way. Oh, just by being yourself. Yeah, like kind literally of. not being a, having a persona. Oh, Ooh. I love that. Yeah. I often have a persona, I think. You do, you fake ass. You're I, I really, fucking people-pleasing motherfucker. It's, it's true. You goddamn Greek-like looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you agreeable giant of a man. That is the thing. I think I'm just often far too agreeable, and I kind of chameleon my way into like different things. I don't know. And that's but how you ended up with a girl like, stalking you for so- three years. Oh god! Oh, Hamza knows her. Who? <gasps> um, the girl who texted you about Nutella. My, <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hamza has a bad experience with her as well. <laughs> We're gonna call her Nutella. <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> Everyone is a hazelnut chocolate product. Oh god! <laughs> so this the title of this podcast should be like Ferrero Rocher. Rocher. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. That's, that was damn close, buddy. <laughs> that's what the candy's called, bro. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, true. Oh, you talk. You literally talking about. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Steve's too agreeable, and that is a result of it. The girl yeah. fell in love with him for too long. Oh, but, but yeah. she's ugly though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, I know. Not gonna like. I'm sorry, but oh. not everyone's you know Captain Handsome over here. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, <laughs> which is actually Steve's nickname on um, Twitch. If you want to follow him, there. are you kidding? <laughs> Captain no, it's Handsome. Not. <laughs> Not at all, but um. Not everyone has a million dollar smile, you know. So. <laughs> um, my teeth are actually tiny, so my smile is not the best. Big. I bones. like your smile. Oh, thanks. Yeah, man. smile, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you got you got a good smile, man. Oh god. Um, it, it all comes. Yeah, yeah. But what was I saying? Um, so yeah, no, I always I, I hate talking about it sometimes because I think I come off as very conceited. When I do. No, dude. I mean, so there's certain parts I leave out because they make me sound conceited, even though I do believe them. Like, I'll talk about kind of like how this person acted over how long a course of time. And that's just kind of like, doesn't say much about me. But then like, I don't know, I talked to my brother about it once. And yeah. he's like, oh, is she like cute? I was like, not really. He's like, oh, let me see what she looks like. And then he looks at her Facebook and he's like, dude, I hate to be that guy, but like, you know, what is she thinking? <laughs> like, oh. you know, I'm like, like, does she not see there's, like, a difference here? I was like, oh, like, that's a compliment, but I can't ever actually say that out loud because it makes me look like such a cocky dude. No, that's not at all. If you but s- also, kudos to her for having cojones and shooting high. Yeah, that's no, she saying. shoots her shot, man. I, I gotta respect that. I really do. Yeah. But not respect enough to ever message her back. <laughs> she shot her shot so many times. Yeah. With you too? No, him. No, no. Oh. no Zane, so- Zane, this motherfucker, <laughs> the first time she ever really started texting me, like, the end of sophomore year of college, um... I was like, it was like after finals, because you know what happened? We were in the same class. We were in the same class, and like, I was like friendly with her, or whatever. Our lab groups were like close, so we'd like help each other out. Yeah. But like, then the final was coming around, and she was like really struggling. Um, and so we were both in the library, and she was just like messaging me or whatever on Instagram. And I was like, yeah, I finished all like the Alex stuff for this class, so like all the online stuff, so like I can come like help you study, and hopefully we can get it like enough of it done before midnight when it's due. And so I do. I, like, stayed with her until, like, midnight in the library. Like, helped her, like, Ooh. through her chemistry. And I was like, all right, well, good luck on the final, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then afterwards, she's ta- she starts, like, messaging me more about, like, hanging out further and stuff. And I'm really not interested. And so Zane goes, and I'm reading this conversation to Zane. And he says, 
Oh, can I see the phone? And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can just you can just read it. Um, and then his big stupid hands grabbed the phone. <laughs> And I guess just kind of mash that little heart button that just sends. You just <laughs> tap the heart and it just sends a heart to them. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not so, a like on a message, but an individual message that is a big ass heart. Yeah, exactly. And so like uh, I'm just like I'm just DMs. trying to act like I'm just trying to act like I never sent it. I'm paying it no mind. I'm being completely like platonic from there. Like fuck. And Shit. so she keeps messing, but she obviously takes this like, oh, this is a good sign. Like, he sent me a fucking heart. And so, like, a big one, too. <laughs> and so, then she keeps messaging me, and I'm eventually so she says, like, we should hang out sometime. I blew your shit. I'm then, sorry, this is a hilarious story. No, this is hilarious. Oh, and so, I, I'm, I later on in the I'm night, sorry. later on in the night, I'm with some friends, and uh, she sends me a message about, like, making plans to hang out. And so, another one of my friends is reading this conversation. And he gets to the bottom and he starts like typing something. I was like, no, dude, fuck off. Don't. <laughs> and he's like, no, dude, I'm not going to send it. It'll be funny though. And I was like, yeah, okay, fine. He types out this message and sends it. And his response to her, who I'm trying to like phase out kind of ghost when she says, hey, do you want to hang out? Is holy shit, you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is such a brutal bastard. Yo. I have no problem outing Mark for that. Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> I had to see the comedy in the situation because it was hilarious. I was like, fuck, dude. And so I'm like, all right. I can't. That's I can't, the most enthusiastic response she could have received. I can't unsend a message, but I'm like, maybe if I block her, it'll delete the conversation. Still to this day, don't know if that happened or not, but I block her. And then she messages me on Facebook and is like, hey, I, uh, for some reason, Instagram isn't letting me message you. I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. And <laughs> for some reason. No. And I said, oh, and so I just made up some lie. I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. Why would you lie? Because he's agreeable. You piece of We've shit. We've been over this. No. Stop it, being a bitch. No. And so I made, up some, I made up some lie. I was just like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend saw like those messages and wasn't a fan. And she's like, oh, LOL, that's so funny, blah, blah, blah. And then we didn't talk for a while. But then just in the next, like, couple years going forward, every few months she would message me, like, something, whatever. You sing? And then eventually her friends started talking to my friends who, like, none of these people knew each other. Like, one of her friends saw my boy Keith at a Starbucks and just, like, chatted him up kind of like, oh, do you know this kid, Steve Webb? It's like, does he like my friend? And it was, and he was like, uh, I don't know, let me text him. And so he was just like <laughs> following me around. And then eventually I did, I was very direct. So I was at work and some fake ass Instagram account with no followers and no posts follows me. I was like, ah, oh, geez, what is this about? And it sends me a message asking me if I like this girl. And I was like, and then I, I didn't answer because uh, I've been ignoring the shit for so long. And then they sent me another one. It's like, because she thinks you do. And even if you don't, you should message back just to like let her know. And so I messaged back. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember it as, as well as I can. Where is but it, it was just he swung from the hip on this one. It's like because she said she um, likes you and wants to know if you like her back, or she thinks you like her. And I was like, well, I don't know why she would think that because I haven't messaged her once in the past year and a half. And the last time I did message her was me explicitly telling her that I was not interested in seeing her. You're playing hard to get. <laughs> Clearly. And then they kept messaging me and I just like ignored it. But then Think it, of the, the account got deleted eventually. But yeah, that's... And now she happens to live nearby. <laughs> so the thing is, I get that from a guy's perspective. Like, I in high school did not... Under, so I was also like... I, I was missing half my brain in high school. So pretty much, um, I would ask this beautiful girl out let's call her jay-z and jay-z she had the best smile best but fu- oh my god actually let me get her let me get myself talking about jay-z so jay would um i'm not sure how to describe because i liked her when i was in high school so my standards were kind of different but at the time just a person who was super sweet super like smart i think she was like valedictorian or something mm-hmm. but like that's a catch yeah right um but pretty much, I asked her out every year for four years. <laughs> <laughs> this is my year. This is my year. <laughs> it's 2014, baby. Let's go. Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> so the, but the, no, here's the thing. The fourth time, I couldn't actually do it. It was the charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just married. 
<laughs> what? Anyway, anyway, okay, go ahead. So, um, the fourth, I think I may have told you this during. You, you told me about this before, yeah. So, what had happened was I made. I was like, okay, I'm gonna. I'm a senior in high school. I'm gonna graduate, and this is my last shot. So, I baked with my mom's help a pizza, and I spelt out on it prom. Or something like that. Yeah, I spelled out prom. Rompe. Rompe. <laughs> something like that. Ram. <laughs> prom. <laughs> prom with an exclamation point. <laughs> prom. <laughs> oh, shit. I got the wrong punctuation. <laughs> I didn't mean to come off so aggressive. Zane with a literal spit take right there. <laughs> Out of his nose! Oh goodness! <laughs> I I have to do that. Or well, what about <laughs> what about a semicolon, as if to invite like prom? Prom. And then, that means an unfinished sentence. The rest is too excited. You're in another clause now. Where's yeah. it going? And then they paint the anyway, rest of the sentence together. How, how did prom. she bake? How did she taste the pizza? So here's the thing. Orally. <laughs> this is why I hate your friend. Sopranos. Yes. Uh, Mozart. Yeah. You see where I'm going there? Get it. It's <laughs> you know, cut that. Yep. Yeah, we all, we're all in honors together. Fuck. So she outed me because I think she overheard me t- in our honors, like AP whatever fucking class. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> and AP history. Me and my boy, let's call him Chris, short for Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well done, Hamza. Well done. So, so a boy C will um, short for Chris. Short for, short for Christian. All right. So, so, C, come. so I was talking to a boy, C, and um, I was basically like, "Okay, so here's the plan. I need you. I need your help. I need to like." Somehow stumble into her somehow, and I forget what the details were. And I was gonna bring this pizza. Shove me backwards into her. <laughs> <laughs> Lands on her dick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I'm sorry, Freya. Uh, oh, hey, baby. All right. So you're making plans to like casually see her? Yeah. <laughs> and with this pizza, I need to because I need to bring the pizza in hot on a certain. I didn't day. expect to see you there, but since I have you, here's the pizza. That I made for you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Steven .exe has stopped functioning. 404 error. I'm stalling out. Continue your story, please. Okay, so, all right, yeah, shut the fuck up. All right, listen. Um, so then, what happened is uh, Mozart was in this class with me, and because they're homies, oh, she ate the pork. Did you throw that at her? On it fell off the chip. They're very crumbly. So fucking Mozart rats me out to her best friend Jay Z, and. I mean, why the hell would anyone do that? Like, mm. ruining my love life in high school. Love of my life. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's... And then she sends me a paragraph on Facebook, like, Hey, <laughs> Jay-Z so, or Mozart? Jay-Z. M- uh, Mozart told Jay-Z. And Jay-Z sent you a paragraph? On, like, yeah, on uh, Facebook. While you're en route with the pizza? <laughs> this was before. I already baked the pizza. And this was, I think, I don't remember the details, but probably the day before. Mm. I still baked so it. So how is the pizza going to be hot if you baked it the day before? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm in high school. The details don't make sense. Love will make it work. <laughs> you throw it in the oven in the morning. So she sent you a paragraph. Yeah, so the paragraph was basically about like not acknowledging at all that I've asked her out every year for the past three years. But like, hey, I heard you were um, maybe going to ask me to prom, but like, I don't, you know, typical friend zone shit. She was very sweet about it. Like and Jay-Z would be. Jay-Z would be very... It's very uh, mature of her. Yeah. And well, let's hear where the paragraph went. So, well, that was the paragraph. And I was telling my friend, OG uh, Ferrero, mm-hmm. that I hated Mozart for that because I wanted to feel the rejection so I could learn my lesson for the future. <laughs> I still am stuck on this because I never got to... And like, every time I want to ask a girl out, I can't help but bake her a pizza. <laughs> He's groundhog daying this. <laughs> the spaghetti just falls out of my pockets. <laughs> it's like, oh. But um So are you gonna bake Ferrero a pizza? Should I? No. <laughs> I should bake her like a cake of Ferrero. 
Rochelle. This is the new one. Yeah. The new okay for uh, right. two point I don't. I don't think I, I ever understood the difference between the two Ferreros. <laughs> I don't think you ever got a definition of who the first one was. The thing is, this is he so just said good. that there was this, and girl. I know I can figure it out from context, but only because I'm around both of them all the time. So the thing is, if that's we're, a hint of who the other one is, right? If we're confused, so he was. Oh! Like, he knows Ferrero one. Oh, OG or wait, I'm confused because OG. I'm buddies with her ex, right? Yes, yeah, got no it. Fucking way, boys. <laughs> See. B, no, actually, she's buddies with your ex. Both. You're bu- Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we were heavily <laughs> double couple, actually. Yeah. I mean, not like orgy wise, yeah. but friends. <laughs> yeah. Fully um, connected system. Damn. Okay. Okay. That's now cool. I know who Ferrero is. Yeah. That's helpful. That's Ferrero one. Okay. It's Ferrero two. I was calling Ferrero two is new anime girl. New gotcha. anime power lifter. Yeah. Motherfucker. So they were chronologically, not yes, one and not two in the order that they were introduced to us. <laughs> correct, correct. Fucking um, Star Wars ass. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> yep. Um, I forgot where I was. Yeah, which which Ferrero are you pizza? making a pizza yeah, for? Yeah, which one would you bake a pizza for? Two, I would imagine. Probably two. Yeah, exactly. But I would do it like the things I've matured. You Our relationship with Ferrero One is too deep to surprise them with a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> but you could do an anime reference on a pizza pretty easily. True. Dude, eat some the, kanji. The problem is, if I bake a pizza for Ferrera 1, then I believe her boyfriend would be like, oh, I can bake one way better. Dude, Check her this. boyfriend is like, he's like a nutrition major, and he is an excellent chef. That's like, he cool. works as like a chef at Mohegan, doesn't That's he? That's pretty sick. Yeah, That's like, pretty sick. He can fucking cook, and so yeah, Hans's pizza would never stand up. That's goals. Go with Ferrera 2. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just do it for Ferrera 2. Uh, but I felt like I've matured that I can probably make a different product other mm-hmm. than a pizza. Probably like a quiche or a yeah. shepherd's pie. I, my, my cooking is definitely very limited. I cook basically the same things every day. Chicken every and veggies, week. how hard can it be? Well, yeah, it's, I, like, I make the same omelet pretty much every morning. Sometimes I'll do sausage, sometimes I'll do bacon. But And then, yeah, for lunch, it's once a week. I just cook a meat and a bunch of vegetables. And that's really all I make. I have mm-hmm. breakfast food nailed inside and out. The cast iron skillet has upgraded my frittata game. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wait, you make frittatas too? Are yeah. you keto? No, I just cook way too much food and then a frying pan won't do it, so I throw it in the <laughs> oven. And realized accidentally that makes a frittata, and I can get a lot of food out of like two pounds of kielbasa and a dozen eggs, bake it all at uh, once. You, of course you can get a lot of food out that's of like, two kielbasa and a dozen that eggs. That lasts me two and a half days. It's already that's a lot like of food. four full meals. <laughs> Dude, the good thing about uh, frittata, I used to make this um, because like you can eat it hot or cold, and it's good when it's cold. With the kielbasa, it's better hot. Oh, yeah, trust I, me. I, imagine. I forgot about that part. Cold, greasy kielbasa is not as great as <laughs> heat it up. But then I bought a bunch of tortillas and I'm doing a taste test. I have like flour, corn, a bunch of different brands of tortillas in my yeah, fridge yeah. Yeah. for breakfast burritos. Nice. But pretty much just breakfast food is what I have nailed. I need to explore the pressure cooker options and see if I can meal prep better. So Hamza, how was your uh, that was my first weekend, experience by the way. on a podcast? Oh, this is just like normal conversation. Dude, but just, absolutely. We're just is that how the normal money? conversation usually flows? Yeah, we're making cash with this, though. That's the only difference. That's literally the only difference. Do you, have any, uh, do you have any other upcoming shows yeah, you'd like to you plug? Got anything you yeah. want to plug? Oh, my boy Greg Miller. Okay, fuck. Hell yeah, Greg Miller. Wait, yeah, should we? Yeah, because we're plugging him. Of you can't give him an alias. You <laughs> can dox Greg Miller at New... Uh, I don't know. Fu- he's like down the street from... Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> down the street doesn't help when you're listening to he's a podcast. An artist. <laughs> he's an artist, a musical artist. Of you got it, guys. Dude, everything. He's visual a, artist, musical artist. Oh like, he's a Renaissance man. He is. Check a out Greg man. Miller, based in New London. Yes. Yes. Check I think out, he does. Um, um, his boy Greg Miller. He does art. He does music. He does fucking poet slam poetry. He's yeah, a podcast because right. we don't promote competitors. He wants to start one. I know. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna get him on here first. Get him on the couple of fellas. Dude, network. he wants to come. On. He was talking about coming on. Let's yeah. text him. I can text him right now. Oh, but I if you're binging this, to come over right now in perpetuity. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next episode. Oh uh, yeah, some other time in the future, Hans. I, I might want you back here for it, though. You sure? I mean, I, I feel like he can hold his own pretty well. I don't know if you know I'll be saying? able to hold my own against him. I might need some help. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. You guys, you guys are a power couple. You could easily check out what happens next time on A Couple of Fellas.